Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Roll Easy here, and I'm back with the Gift Cards to Friends video showing you two methods on how to hit this glitch. Uh, one's a cheaper method, the other one is a more expensive method, I would say. No, you, you both kind of need, you just need different things. So, I wanted to make this appeal to, you know, mostly everybody out there. Now, I'm not really sure who the founders are of this one. I mean, I'm going to look it up after the video, and then I'll link them down in the description. There's just been so many founders for these Gift Cards to Friends, and I can't keep up. So... What you're going to need for this first method is, oh, and for, uh, I don't know if you noticed, that's my uh, new DM outfit, the DM glitches out that I released yesterday. It's super hard, all right? It's very inconsistent, but I put a lot of time into it, and I got four new outfits right now. I got two more last night, so I got some pretty cool outfits, but uh, yeah, if you check that video out, I'll leave it down in the uh, description and the pinned comment as well, but what you're going to need for this glitch, the first method... I'm going to be using an MOC cab. You can pretty much use any big heavy vehicle you want, but the MOC cab is like super strong, so that one really will help. The next method I'm going to show you after that one is with it's using a cargo bob. So you need a full facility, with, fill it up with RH8s or Fagios, and you need to actually go grab a street car, and obviously you need a friend to give you a car, all right? Modded cars, anything. If you're using this as a money glitch, remember, you both need the same a custom plate in your iFruit. Mm, excuse me. All right. In your eye fruit. All right. That's very, very important. So I have a full facility. I have my friend who's going to give me a car. He actually got his MOC cab. It can be anybody's MOC cab. Doesn't matter. I'm going to go up to my facility and I'm going to get the full alert. So I've gotten the full alert right here. So we're going to be sitting on this facility full alert for a while. I'm going to explain to you what's happening. So what's going on is, and this is why I recommend using the, uh, the cab because your friend can drive over the yellow circle because we both have the same facility. So he won't get sucked in if he's using, you know, the MOC cab. But what he's doing right now, he's literally pushing me. Just just pushing my car far, far away, all right? I, I, I'm not sure of the exact distance. I guess in-game it might be like, like maybe 0.4 miles or something like that. Maybe a half a mile. It's not like crazy, crazy far, but you do need to be pushed far enough to go ahead and get off of this black screen. Now, I wanted to show you both methods because getting pushed definitely takes longer. All right, depending on what facility you have, uh, I know if you have the reservoir facility, that's probably not going to be the best one to do with this glitch because you're pretty much surrounded by water, you know? So, uh, for people that have facilities, you know, that have a lot of land and gravel and things around it and no water, this one is fine for you guys. You can do this one. But all he's doing is pushing me. And I'm going to know it's okay because it's going to kick me off of this facility full alert. So you're not accepting or declining anything right now. You're just waiting for your friend to push you far, far away from the facility. And you'll see the distance once he, uh, once, you know, we get off of this black screen. You'll see the distance and how far he actually had to push me. And keep in mind, it was raining. So it took a little longer. We have very, you know, we have a lot of hills and stuff around our facility. But you're going to see us get off of this black screen real, real soon here. Should be right about now. There we go. Okay, so there we go. So you see that he was pushing me. My car's all beat up. But you see, I'm not crazy far away from the facility. I'm just kind of sledding down here on my roof. But uh, there we go. I can tip the car back over again. And look, you see, it just took him a little while because this terrain isn't the best and it's raining right now. So I got kicked off the alert. I'm going to go back. He's going to get set up. And look at this. I'm going to go ahead and drive to the side of, of the facility and get the full alert again. All he's got to do is push me away from the facility. Like, like 20, 30, maybe 40, 50 feet. You know, nothing too crazy. You're going to see right here. Once he tells me I'm good, I'm going to accept that alert. Look, I'm not even that far away. Accept the alert. And then you can go ahead and drive up to the facility. Just like that, guys. And that is actually how you do it with a streetcar and an MOC cab. Okay? So it's not too difficult. I thought this would be, you know, a good method to put in the video because not everybody owns a cargo bob. So, and not everybody can even fly the cargo bob that well. But if you got a big truck, go ahead and just push your friend. All right. The MOC cab, I think, does work the best. It has ramming power, especially if you got the flat front end cab. Uh, that one is awesome for this. But even the other one, you know, the long nose cab, that one should work as well. So once you get in here, you're going to get the replacement menu. Remember, you want to deny this, and then you press circle, and then X, or that'd be B, and then A on Xbox, okay? Now I'm getting ready to exit the facility. Have your friend's car that he's giving you, tell him to park it close to the yellow circle, you know? All right, so park it close to the yellow circle because we're going to be spamming Y once we get onto this black screen. Spamming Y or triangle, all right? So right now, black screen, I'm spamming right now. Spam Y or triangle, just keep spamming it, keep spamming it until you get onto the alert. So you see that? The car was right there. I'm on the alert. I can stop spamming. 
I'm getting in the car just to confirm he's gonna let me know but usually you can hear when you get into the vehicle all right so I'm in the vehicle I started it just accept the alert back up a little bit and then just drive up to the facility and there you go I brought the uh, you know the new car in here this is my friend's car that he is giving me so at this point we're waiting to load into the facility now I can go ahead and replace over one of these vehicles okay so I'm gonna pick let's see I'm gonna pick the Sanchez right here go ahead and replace over it, and boom there we go I have a brand new duped car from my friend and he still has his his spawned outside now the great part about this glitch is you can just rinse and repeat this part you don't even have to do that part that first part again if you want to just keep receiving cars so go ahead my friend says he has another vehicle out there waiting for me I don't even know what it is but I'm gonna exit and right now on the black screen start spamming Y or triangle okay just keep spamming keep spamming until you hit the black screen so I still didn't even see it I don't know what it is but I'm on here he's gonna tell me that I'm actually on the vehicle or in the vehicle I'm gonna go ahead and accept the alert once I've accepted the alert, look at that. He gave me a 3D Shitaro. Nice. All right. So now I can go ahead and back up a little bit and then drive right back up to the facility. And look at this. I got another vehicle back to back. Okay. So if, you know, if you're tired of, you know, pushing your friend with the MOC, you just got to do it once. You know, if you just want to keep giving them cars or he just wants to keep getting them. So I'm going to go ahead and replace over this RH8 that I have in here. Don't really care about it. And then boom, now I have a brand new Shitaro and an XA21. There we go. Just like that, guys. Okay. I'm even going to show you the vehicles right here to prove to you that they are in my facility. And there we go. So I have that one and I have this new one right here. Okay. So two new vehicles very, very quickly. Remember with this glitch, you can't just drive these out when you're getting other uh, players, personal vehicles, you cannot drive these out whatsoever. Uh, if you do drive them out, they just brick you. So you can't do anything with them. So the way to go around that remember is I recommend not restarting your game, but you can restart your game. That will always work. The other way to do it, Go over to your second character, so swap characters to, to your second, and then swap back to your first character, and you'll have full access to the vehicles, okay? So now, on to the second method. So now, this is the second method right here. I'm just going to go ahead and get another streetcar. My friend has another vehicle waiting for me, and he has a... Um, What's it called? He has a cargo bob waiting for me. And you can use anybody's cargo bob, so you don't have to own one. If your friend owns one, that's fine. Just one of you, one of you guys has to own a cargo bob. So you can see it up there in the top right. He's ready to go. Oh, yeah, shout out to uh, BMX and True GTA 5, man. We finally made a video together. We haven't been making videos for a while, but, yeah, they helped me out with this. So shout out to those guys. I'm going to go ahead and get the streetcar, get the full alert. Now, what he's doing is he's picking me up with the cargo bob. So it's kind of like the same concept of pushing somebody away with the cab. You know, except right now we're using the cargo bob. He's hooking onto me and then he's going to go ahead and just fly me away instead of actually just pushing me away. All right. And this is much, much quicker, I think, because you're actually flying. You know, you're not being pushed. So he's going to fly me, you know, away from the facility until I get off of this alert. OK, so here we go. We should be getting off of this very, very soon. And come on. There we go. All right. So I'm off. I'm telling him I'm good, dude. I'm off the alert. He just drops me. All right. I recommend to uh, to actually have him just fly you right back to the facility. Nice and easy. But he decided to just drop me. That's all good. Still shout out to you, BMX. Anyways, he uh, <laughs> he dropped me there. So I got to go back just like the other part. And I got to get the facility full alert again when I go up to the side of the MOC. So or to the side of the facility. So I'm on the side of the facility. I've told him I'm on the alert. He's going to go ahead and pick me up again, but he's only going to pick me up and move me, like I said, maybe 40, 50 feet away. Nothing crazy. It just has to be away from the facility, but not, you know, crazy far. So there we go. I was away. I was on the ground. He dropped me and I accepted the alert. He has to let me know when I'm on the ground. So I accept the alert. Now I can go back in through the side of the facility and I go ahead and get auto sucked in just like this. Okay. So just like the other one, at this point, you can just keep rinsing and repeating, all right? You know, so you only have to do that first part once per, you know, person, all right? So I can just keep receiving cars over and over again. So I cancel and then I accept the, uh, you know, the, the cancel replace, you know? You cancel the replace and then you accept the alert, basically. That's how that works. So they got another vehicle out there waiting for me. I'm going to go ahead and exit the facility and start spamming triangle or Y, okay? This works on both consoles. So I'm spamming right now. They have another vehicle out there. Look at that. I actually spawned on top of it and I'm actually getting in right now and I'm going to go ahead and drive it in. All right. So here we go. I'm like, yeah, awesome. Cool car. All right, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and back up a little bit and then drive it right in. And then now this vehicle is mine. All right. So just like that, guys, that's how this works. Uh, you know, once you get in there, you're going to get the option to replace a vehicle. Go ahead and write over one of those, you know, Sanchez's, Faggio's, RH8's, whatever you got in there. Whatever car you don't care about, even if you got dupes and you don't care about the dupes. You can replace over any vehicle you want, okay? It just has to be a car to replace over. 
Now, there is a method with this to get special vehicles as well. You would just have to drive the special vehicle on top of the facility and then run in yourself, you know, run into the yellow circle on foot. Okay, but that's it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and write over one of these. Actually, oh yeah, I messed up there, guys. So I wanted to include this in the video. I actually messed up. I pressed cancel instead. And I was like, yo, I didn't even save the car. I got really confused. I was talking to them, and I actually canceled it. But that's all good. I wanted to show you that you can still hit the glitch without that. So even if you canceled that alert, you're still going to get the alert when you walk outside. So have them ready with another vehicle. Go ahead and exit, you know, the facility. And then you can start spamming wire triangle once again. Okay? So keep spamming that stuff and then you're going to get another vehicle. So there we go. I'm grabbing this vehicle now and I'm going to go ahead and drive this one in and then we'll get this vehicle. Okay. And you guys know the drill, man. You can just keep rinsing and repeating this. You only have to do the cargo bob or MOC trick one time per person and then you're good. All right. So now this is going to be my vehicle and I'll replace it over something. I don't need to show you the rest. You guys know the glitch. Thanks for stopping by the channel. My name is Roll Easy. Make sure if you're brand new to press that big red subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and drop a fat like on this video for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 25,000 subs. Peace out, everybody.